Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. This is New Cap News with Jeremy Thompson. Well, back here in the border city, the Lloydminster Bandits wrapped up their final home game of 2015 last night. But before the team even hit the ice, they took the time to give back to the community in their fourth annual Pack the Bus Night. Hello, hello. Is it a men's shelter? Yes. Awesome. Thanks. Well, one by one, residents dropped off bags full of winter clothing, food, and other donations for the Lloydminster Men's Shelter. This is the fourth year the Bandits have run the campaign, and according to team officials, it's a great tradition for this time of year. Everybody needs help out there, especially at Christmas time, and especially when the weather is getting cold. You know, we got to help out everybody around the city, and uh, for the Bandits, hey, we help out the men's shelter, and uh, we try to work as hard as we can. Originally opened in 2008, the shelter provides a safe place to stay and three meals a day for up to 28 men. Staff say donation nights like this go a long way. Most of our funding comes from the Alberta and Saskatchewan governments. And as you probably can guess, uh, government dollars are always somewhat uh, limited and you don't know from one year to another. I mean, there's always budget constraints. So this, this helps out our, our budget. Um, makes the money go farther. Food and clothing donations are always being accepted at the men's shelter. Their next big funding drive is the coldest night of the year event, which is scheduled for February 20th. Well, hundreds of people headed down to the Lloydminster Cultural and Science Center today for the 25th annual Winter Spectacular. <music> Visitors were greeted at the door with live music. The event had plenty of activities for adults and children alike, including indoor crafts, snowshoeing, sleigh rides, and of course, a chance to sit down with everyone's favorite man, Santa Claus himself. My favorite part of this event is the children. The happiness they have to share, the peace they have to share, and overall, they're all good kids, down in heart. No kids on the naughty list this year. Not so far. Event organizer Sarah Hawkridge says the Winter Spectacular is inspired by Christmas on the Prairies and is an opportunity to pay homage to our pioneers. It's growing in, in size, it's growing in scope, and we see um, a wider range of demographics attending the event as well every year. We have a live band, we've got a second set of sleigh rides because we know that's the most popular part of our event, so we added that extra team. <laughs> The favorite part of it is, is like it always has been all my life, working with horses. Well, it makes everybody happy, in good spirits, eh, the season, yeah. eh? So much fun. More than 200 locals joined in the winter activities, eh, to kick off the holiday season.